Yo, what's good YouTube? Antayami here and we're back with another video and today I'm showing off probably the best deck I have ever made in my entire life. Here it is. <laughs> like, obviously you guys don't see the, the deck list. I may link the deck list, but I will plan on doing the deck list or deck profile once I get all the real cards in real life. Obviously, um, Illusion of Chaos is not out yet well i guess technically it is but i want to acquire the cards this coming up friday and hopefully i can get at least three of these i think i play i don't play three in this deck but bro i'm telling you this deck is literally engines on engines on engines on engines so i actually might do a deck profile of this deck before illusion and chaos so you guys can see kind of like some variants um, cause I did make a version two. If you guys saw my last deck profile of like this deck, it's called like the four engines or whatever. I'll leave a little link up above so you guys can click on that. So you guys can check out that deck profile and I'll probably be releasing in version two of that deck, which is way better than version one. Just so you guys can see an update for it. And then this is version three. Like we're, we're, we're nuts, bro. This deck is insane. Um, so yes, let's go ahead and get into it. And I'll do a couple of test hands. Maybe I'll do like three so you guys can get a, a good understanding and how consistent this deck is because this deck is insane. So anyway, so we have Ray, uh, Illusion of Chaos, Right, Engage, and Sanguine. So it's a pretty it's a pretty good hand. Pretty, pretty good hand. Um, especially with this card now. Um, even if you draw the bricks, like if you draw the... Um, the Griffin or any of the other cards, you can actually put those cards back in the deck. Keep this card for like future follow up because we do play. I'm gonna go ahead and say it, I do play at least two of these cards in my deck. Um, things may change, but so far I do like at least two, and it's just so good. It's just such a good card. The fact that I can put back any card from your hand back to the top of your deck is so good. So, um, with this hand, we're gonna probably. We won't activate engage. I know it's gonna sound a little weird, but I like to activate engage either A to get to Ray, which we already have access to Ray, and B to draw a card. And since technically we're not gonna draw a card with this hand, and Sky Striker cards usually going first can be a little dead depending on where our hand is, because sometimes we can flood the board. And Sky Strikers are kind of like backup plays. So if your opponent decides to clear the entire front line, then all of a sudden it becomes live. It's just nuts. Like I'm going to show duels with this deck in the future so you guys can get an understanding. But we this deck breaks through boards going second. It's just it's insane. Like this deck is really strong. So anyway, let's go ahead and get into the start of this. So anyway, uh, we are going to activate. Right. And... We're gonna special summon this. If you guys haven't seen this combo or how this package works, I recommend you look it up because it's really insane. So we're gonna actually add the Griffin here and we're gonna discard our card. Mm, this is gonna sound really silly, but let's get rid of engage here just for haha. -ha. So anyway, special summon Griffin. And we're gonna say no to this effect. So I'm just going to say no to it because we're going to chain block, actually. The play around Bell probably won't ever come up, but you never know. Uh, so we're going to normal summon Ray. We're going to actually go into Kagari here. Kagari will add back engage. Oh, I bet they activate that effect. <laughs> My bad to chain block. I mean, I don't think it's ever going to come up, really. But anyway, then we can activate the Illusion of Chaos. We're gonna add back souls and we can put this back on top of the deck. Activate souls, dump, and let's summon two. The board here, then we got the journey doing its thing. And you know what's really funny about this? You know what's really funny about this setup? Since we didn't go into like a needle fiber, a uh, needle fiber, oh my God, this was a tuner, Jesus. Since we didn't go into the Verte yet, we can actually do this. So let's go ahead and attach, it doesn't really matter. Let's attach the souls here. Um, And if I really want to get rid of like 
both of these cars. I like this car for kind of like more follow up. Like if you negate with Griffin, you can research it out for next turn and it's just insane. So we're gonna activate Souls here. Souls is gonna get rid of the Draco back here. And just for example, let's just get rid of the engage just because, because you know, test hands. I normally wouldn't do it. I keep it for follow up because whenever you go into the brave engine, you always almost have like three spells in the graveyard. So if your opponent does not kill you, you kill them next turn. Like you search, like you link climb up to a whole bunch of cards. So you go into like the unicorn, uh, spin back a card, um, go into access code talker. You can like kill your field, and then you go into like engage engage it's just it's just game and then if you go into your eldritch stuff eldritch can come back as a 35 beater it's just insane this deck has so many ways to kill your opponent it's really insane so we're gonna go ahead and go into discarding that drawing two and we drew into a alchemancer ocg name um and we got into our droplets which is uh you know it's pretty okay uh so with this we can actually just go into now normally since we have the and this is the reason why i don't want to get rid of engage here but i just did it for a test for the video um what you can do is keep engage in your hand you can just probably discard one draw one you know whatever we technically got a plus car like a plus one out of this exchange because drago back comes back uh we can just go into the anaconda here so we're just going to anaconda and we can go from there right so anaconda um if we actually honestly since we drew into this i'm learning this deck still as well and this is for example for the video but you can actually special summon this and use these two for anaconda and then go into uh, like suzuku here and you'll keep all four engines here like running because we're going to get into an Eldritch engine here. And then we can set droplets. And again, droplets can send this. And this will come back. It's just, it's so busted. So you get like in a gate. You get, just, just guys, just look at this. Oh, I'm going to get that one. Sorry. <laughs> Make them a dark. And then dump Fusion Destiny. And then just, boom. Like, th this hand is insane. So look at the graveyard. So we have a draw two here. Um... Of course, we got the raid in the graveyard. If we would have played this a little bit better, we could have had Suzuku up up here in top, uh, and it kind of down here at the bottom, and just have so much craziness. Have the negate pop, uh, another negate here, another summon to help us live. And if they don't kill us, then we just kill them. Pretty insane. Pretty insane. So let's go ahead and show you guys one more test hand, and let's see what it looks like. We're all off the top. All right, so this hand is not that crazy. Um, probably gonna be like a little simple hand. So I'll probably just test it again because this deck has really insane things. So, uh, go for some array. Kagari, Kagari effect, add back this. And then we're gonna set three and probably pass here. Go into this and then get another search here. Not super strong, but the problem is with this deck is that even though it may not get hands that's like super and crazy, like super crazy or whatever, the fact that you always see at least two engines in this deck and it can just play through so much stuff and it baits stuff and a lot of people don't expect to see the Eldritch cards. They're not gonna like, oh, it's Sky Striker, so I gotta play around. Uh, there can only one be only one and just a whole bunch of other stuff like Widow Anchors and stuff and they just play into like the Eldritch stuff and then they don't see this card coming. It's just really really good and it against they got to deal with the ray which helps me it's just too many things to play around like even if they like harpy for the dust with me which has happened a couple times um you can literally just like let us all like blow up let this kind of all flow and they still got to deal with the ray and if they just happen to kill you they just kill you just how it is but um it's just it's so good and if you are afraid of they're gonna kill you or not you can just chain sanguine and have golden lord on board it's really cool just remember that you're locked into zombies when you do that. So you can't revive Ray, which is the only unfortunate thing. Um, going into this hand, uh, this is not looking not looking too good. Um, but again, we still got plays here. So we're going to activate Aquamancer. Aquamancer is going to search out our rights here. Um, activate rights, and then we're going to the, the standard, you know, combo here. Add journey. 
Then we're going to add the Griffin here. Griffin is going to sit in our hand. We're going to discard the Harketo here. Special summon this. Boom, boom. And then we can activate this to add back our Draco back here. Because, you know, free advantage. Um, we can normal summon the Rose. And then we can go into the Suzuku here. And then we can set one. And then I normally just do this. Now, what you can technically do, you can still kind of end on Anaconda. You can turn this into a Link Karibo, and you can actually just go into, like, just different plays. Like, there's so many different lines you can play uh, with hands like this, and it's just really strong. Uh, so, we're going to go ahead and activate this to search for Engage. So you can get that engine going and getting mad pluses. Set the um, Sanguine here, and then we're going to add Engage and pass it to your opponent. So, it's really, again, it's just really hard to kill through this because now this has battle protection for uh, once per turn so if they happen to like battle over this because a lot of times people don't want to kill it because you get you bring back your ray and ray does whatever but uh since we don't have access to like ray in this position like the fact that it has like a little bit of protection and it happens to get rid of this card this floats into the onto the brave token and then if they don't deal with the brave token or the um drago back here then you get a free bounce which is really cool and yeah and again this shovels back and you can actually again turn this into a link karibo on your opponent's turn or on my turn this next coming up turn make engage live because you're gonna have three spells so you're gonna have this um we can definitely chain this if you guys want i mean you can just do a lot of things you can activate engage use widow anchor to take a monster and he's going to like crazy plays and again you have sanguine as well so you're gonna have a golden lore golden lore can help you make it to an anaconda and just whole bunch of craziness bro it's just a nut deck and then like again you saw the hand that wasn't really that strong but yeah it still ends on a lot of follow-up and stuff like that so i'm gonna leave it um here for now the last two hands or i guess the last couple hands wasn't really super strong but the fact that every single hand is playable makes this a crazy deck um, again, I'll show off the deck profile. You guys could probably like pause the video and see some of the like cards I play. Uh, also, I do play this. I guess you can see the extra deck. I really don't care. Um, but it does play both of the Charmers, which is really, really strong. This card is nuts. The fact that we also play Souls, and Souls is another dark monster, it is so easy to make this card. And this card is going to be nuts. And cool two cool things about this application of both these monsters because the Eldritch en engine is light which this also searches out Rosé if it gets destroyed by battle or card effects. And then this searches out Ray if this gets destroyed by battle or card effects. So it's just like, it's insane. And the fact that this card can like target dark monsters, like even this card right here, instead of going to Anaconda, you can actually take your opponent's Anaconda from the graveyard and then use it for yourself. It's just like, it's so, ugh, it's it's so nuts, man. This deck is like, it's literally insane. I've been testing it and then like every hand has just been really, really, really insane. So again, I might pop up a deck list or a deck profile of my previous build. And then I'll pop up on Friday with this build. It's, I'm telling you guys, with the real life cards, it's gonna be so insane. Um, so anyway, guys, thank you guys for watching. If you guys made it this far, I appreciate you guys and leave a like comment and let me guys know what you guys think about the deck um it's really insane like i said it doesn't look like it is but the interactions and how confused your opponent is and how many like floodgates it plays through like it can easily play through skill drain because of the elvish package it used to play through io because of the elvish package it used to play through um red reboot because of the sky striker package and like dpe and all that fun stuff uh it plays through there can only be one uh it kind of struggles versus uh golden match uh a little bit but that's ways you can play around it still just it's really kind of scary but again guys anyway with that being said have a great night and peace